Sometimes we don't have AutoCAD or DXF file of our project and only have a JPG image of the plan. Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial on the Nice Tower channel. In this video, I will show you the quickest and easiest way to convert a 2D map into a 3D model without having DXF or AutoCAD file. Before that, like the video and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Now let's jump in. So first let's import our JPG map. Go to file menu. Come here, click on import. And in here, choose that one and click on import like this. Click here like this. Now, as you can see, it's so small. Let's Take its measure. What's that? 40 centimeter or 39 centimeter, but its real size is 270 centimeter or 2700 millimeter. So now let me tell you how we can scale that into real size. Use tape measure. Choose a clear spacing. Choose a clear spacing. For example, here, let me choose here. Interior of the wall right here is 270 centimeter. From here up to here, choose one point. For example, here, click here. Up to here. Now, what is that? 39.3. Just click here and don't click anywhere or don't do any action. Just type the real size. What is that? 270. Type and enter. And in here we have a message. Do you want to resize the model? Just click on yes. Like this. Now, Let's take its measure again. Two hundred seventeen. Now it has real size. Let's convert it into three D. How we can do it? Let me find a view toolbar. Yeah, that's here. Choose top view like this. Let me zoom in. Then use rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle from here up to here like this. As you can see, we can't see interior detail, so we should use X-ray style. Now we can see them. Now use offset tool. Take an offset by 20 centimeter right here. And also we have some walls here, here, and here. We can use rectangle tool and after click here, Come here and just type thickness of the wall, for example, 10 centimeter and enter like this. And also here, here too. Just type thickness of the wall, 10 centimeter. Here too, 10 centimeter, 10 centimeter. And now we can move it like this. And here too, we have a wall up to here, type 10 centimeter, enter, and here too, like this.
say one centimeter and here two say one centimeter so now we draw all of the wall let me deactivate the x-ray let me make it group and also the surface make it group too so let me use x-ray again and in here we have a staircase use rectangle tool again start from this point draw a rectangle right here now draw a line midpoint like this now use line tool draw a line here let me like the axis and also here here too and here like this so now again use line tool now just select the surfaces and use flip tool by mirror take a copy press control to take a copy and let me delete this line and also this one too To move it here and also fix here too like this select all make it group 2 let's create our staircase use s for u stair plugin After select the area of the staircase, click on S4U plugin. As you can see in here, we have a preview of the staircase. Now we can type height of the unit. For example, I want 250. Enter. Now by using tab key, we can determine the starting direction of the staircase like this and by right click we can choose different type of the staircase for example I choose this one and just enter like this and if you want to know more about different type of staircase watch out our YouTube channel I made a special tutorial for that so now let me edit here and delete this one like this so as you can see we made the staircase and let's create the walls use push ball tool and extrude it by 250 high we have a column here 250 make it group and now we have some lowers right here let's use rectangle tool draw rectangle right here now let me scale that up to here and by using 1001 bit tool plugin with this option we can create lowers 15 centimeter depth 
4 cm thickness, 10 cm spacing, and 30 angle of that. Just click on create layers like this. So guys, as you can see, our work is done. I hope this tutorial was useful and helpful for you. For more tutorials, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends.